Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to the Darts Review channel. In this video I'm going to be having a look at something a little bit unusual and certainly different and what it is it's the 180 EVA traveling boards. Now there's three items here that are sold separately. You've got the small EVA traveling boards, you've got one for steel tip and one for soft tip and like I said it's EVA made of a very thick EVA probably I think it looks to be about an inch thick and it feels rather strong actually and the other one is the complete dartboard set so with this one you get like a round segment for the dartboard and on the other side you got like a spider with numbers and it also comes with a, a kind of a jigsaw surround which you put together and obviously put around the board so that goes around the board and it comes with a bag to carry it in obviously you got the little stickers to stick it onto the wall or door or whatever you want to stick it on window maybe <laughs> there's, there's all the sticky pads and it also comes with a, a tape so you can set up the right Oki length actually quite a good tape that actually so that's what you get with that one now I was actually sent this by 180 and I, I think it was around about early 2020 they sent it to me so I was going to do a review of it at the time and then obviously lockdown started so I thought well nobody's going to go traveling now because of lockdown and it's been stuck in, in my uh, room ever since then. And I thought, well, I'll give it a review because you never know. It might be something some people find useful. Uh, the only problem is I couldn't find it on any of the UK sites. But I have found it on sites in Germany and America. So I'm not sure why it's not on the UK sites. But the complete dartboard setup, that, as far as I can tell, retails for around about £18 and the two small dartboards they're around about 10 pound each so you've got a soft tip and a steel tip basically it's just slightly different uh, dimensions on the printed dartboard so that is the prices that i can work out um, it may be a little bit pricey that actually i mean how long this thing's going to last i don't know because obviously if you're going to throw steel tip points at it you're going to get holes in there and it's EVA form so it's going to break up but how long it will last I, I say I don't know because I've not even tried it yet and if it only lasts a few hours then I suppose that's quite a pricey thing then for a few hours use but if you're really desperate to play darts and you're traveling a lot then <laughs> I guess it might be a handy thing to have um, also the dartboard one i guess if you want to play darts and not disturb somebody in another room or a neighbor or whatever this eva form should be in theory very quiet so i suppose it's good in that respect but other than that it seems a strange thing to have but I guess some people may find a use for it <laughs> but I'll set it up on the wall and I'll give you a close look at it and then I'll throw some darts at it and see how it performs. Right I've stuck it on the wall now that take me clamp off so a bit of a mess on but I've also put this round on as you can see I've only put two of the sticky pads on one on the top one at the bottom and they're actually little velcro sticky pads so I'll try and pull the board off and hopefully not pull the wallpaper off as well um, but I'll just have a throw at this but I'll just have a close look for you first so you can see it is about like I say it's about an inch thick and it is really quite strong and what I've noticed on the small ones is I haven't getting focus there's two little holes on the top so I'm not sure whether there's been something on them like so if you want to just hook it rather than stick it on something but i won't bother throwing at the little ones because it's exactly the same material but as you can see 
just in a smaller format so I'll throw some darts at the full setup now. Right, I hope it stays on the wall. <laughs> Did I get, oh I didn't get treble one, it was on the wire of the treble one. I'm taking them out carefully because I don't want to pull the thing off. Now we left a big hole on that one, but the other two, not too big. But this is what I mean, I can't really see it lasting all that long. Is that a treble? I'm not sure, I think it might be. I think that's a treble five. <laughs> treble five champion. Oh, it, it's so close to the wire that on the treble five, it may have bounced out, but I think that one would have gone into the treble 20 because it's just below the wire. But as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, I'll show you just now. The holes are, are quite big, oh, going into the fives here. It's a five day to day. Darts are going slantwards. But it certainly sounds quiet. There's just a kind of a little t kind of a sound. But this is with the steel tip darts. Oh, I've got a treble. Uh, I'm going to have a try with some soft tips now. So, we'll see what it's like with soft tips. Now, in theory, I would have thought the soft tips would make a bigger hole. I haven't really tried these ones, I don't think. These are the Target Yoko. 19 grams. So all you get is a kind of a little sound, but soft tips are definitely leaving much bigger holes. And I think it's because, especially with a tip like this, there's a kind of a fat section there for the fingers and obviously the darts are going into it. So, oh, treble one champion. In theory, it might be a good idea just for something to travel with, but we'll have a look at the board and then you'll be able to see the holes better. Right, so this is just them few throws now. I can't remember which ones were the soft tip, but I think the soft tip ones were definitely a bit bigger than the steel tip holes. But as you can see, that's just a few throws that, so I can't see it lasting that long. Not if you're making big holes like that. And obviously the more holes that you make, the more loose it's gonna be. So in theory, the idea is quite a, a good one but in practice I'm not so sure. So there you go that's the 180 EVA traveling dart boards. I know I didn't try the mini ones but it's exactly the same material so you'll probably see the same effect. Um, obviously the mini ones are going to fit into a, a bag a lot easier and if you're really desperate to have a little bit of practice the mini ones might be a nice little training aid if you're away somewhere. The, obviously the main problem is the fact that the holes left by the steel tip and even more so by the soft tip darts are quite large so you start getting quite a lot of holes in it eventually the darts are not going to stick and I can't see it lasting more than say maybe four or five hours at that rate. It might have been better if they had the dart board like that printed on both sides and then you could turn it and get a bit more use uh, but as it is that full setup around about 18 pound it's nearly the price of a full dartboard so i just don't see it being worth it um, if it was a bit less than half price then it might be but i don't know maybe some people will still find a use for it like i said in theory the idea is is quite good it's a, a light quick and easy to set up system and it's really quiet so obviously if you're in a hotel room you're not going to disturb anyone but even if you were doing it, I'd go with the soft tips because if you if you happen to somehow get a bounce out with a steel tip and it damages something in the hotel room, obviously you might get into trouble. So 
The soft tips will definitely be the quieter option, but they're the ones that seem to be causing the most damage. Uh, but like I said, there's no uh, shops in the UK that are selling it. So I think it's mostly shops overseas. So it's getting a hold of one as well. That's a, another issue. But if you do happen to get one and you've tried it already, let us know in the comments and always helpful to hear what other people think. For me personally though, I just don't really see the point in it. <laughs> so that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I'll see you on the next one. Happy darting.